UGEM just released another plugin in the Finisher series. This time it's Finisher Dynamo, which is all about patterns, about rhythmic movement and very creative stuff. So if you don't know, the Finisher series is a series of plugins that will take whatever you put into them and get crazy. So it's not just uh, your ordinary chorus or reverb or delay or compressor or whatever. It's all of the above. They have a chain of effects which will take whatever you put into this into well, something new. So let's dive in. Right, so this is Dynamo and I have a little track here that I'm working on and this is how it looks like. So we have four different variation knobs and then one finisher in the middle here. This is the finisher knob which most of the time will be about more of the effect or less. So it's kind of a dry wet mix. And so the idea behind these finisher plugins is that we have modes and this is what you see here. So right now we're in Wobo is coming, but they are in different categories. So we have remix, we have solo, we have rhythm, we have sustain, we have vocals. And for each of them, we have different modes. And for each of the modes, we'll get different assignment to these finisher um, knobs here for the variation knobs. So right now, what I have is this uh, wobble is coming and then we have pattern and we have a lift a uh, little filter we have uh, of course the finisher we have the mountain and then tone so if i select a different mode you'll see that we have a different assignment for some of the uh, variation knobs here so we have pattern is still the same and tone so what what are those the pattern will decide what kind of pattern we have, what kind of rhythmic patterns we have. So it goes from left to right. We have halftime, we have polyrhythms, we have our standard pattern, whatever we uh, use right now, whatever is coming in without changing. Then we have triplets and then we'll have a double time. So you can just play with that and see what works for your track. And then the tone is a combination of EQ and compression and it will go from dark to bright. So let me show you how that works. So I'm going to uh, just go overboard here with the finisher so you, you can appreciate. <laughs> Now, every time you select a, a mode, you get some notes here that will give you a hint of what it is uh, that you can expect, but you don't see, you don't have any visibility, you don't know exactly what's under the hood. So let's try some other modes. And so, for example, this one will add a subtle uh, and, and dry ghost notes and we can use Vari 2 to turn them uh, to taste and then Vari 3 if you're hungry for more ghost notes. So let's try that.
Pretty cool, right? So I have other tracks here. Let's try and play with this uh, plugin on the drums. So what I have here is a little loop. Let's listen to that without. And with. So this is the Scratcher preset. So it, now it's good time to show you what's the preset all about. So of course you can create your own, you can select whatever mode you want, and then you can tweak the very knobs here and the finisher, but we also have these presets and we have different categories. We have introduction, we have subtle track, bass, drums, pads, vocals, and sound effects. So a lot of presets to choose from to get you going get you started with something and of course you can create your own save and save as and by the way you can also resize the plugin so this is pretty cool and so let's try some more so this is the drums let's try something else let's go for drums and see what we've got uh sequence spaces Pretty cool. Next, let's try Dynamo on uh, another track. Let's see what we get with this, uh, with the keys. So this is uh, now just soloing without. Just very dry, nothing special, very simple stuff. Pretty nice. So this is Dynamo. And just to finish this uh, video, of course, first of all, if you like this video so far, hit the like. Let me know in the comments if there's anything I missed. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer. And uh, of course, we also have other finishers. So let me show you what we've got. I'm going to replace the, uh, the finisher here with something else. So we can try Flux, for example, which is really great. I love this one. And let's listen to what we've got. This is without. And with. Let's try something else. Right, and we have a lot of things here. We have the ambience, we have the delay, we have character. But for each of the modes, we'll get different controls, different assignments to the very knobs here. So here again, we have different categories. We have chorus, we have arpeggio, we have rhythmic and solo. And if we go to the arpeggio, let's try this one. And again, without. Right, let's try something else. Let's go and find something that will work good for our track here. Let's try this one. Yeah, 
yeah we got the tape stop so that was finisher flax let me know in the comments if you want to see more stuff by ujam especially the finisher plugins which i really love and you can check my channel because i cover all of them and that's it so i'll see you guys in the next video thank you and bye bye